Hello and welcome to SAP Learning Academy. In this video today, I will explain about function module in SAP AWAP. As you know, function module is one of the main important parts in SAP AWAP programming. So many of us who is struggling to write function module or what is function module, this video is for you. So let me start with the definition first. So function module is a subprogram or a part of main program which contains a set of reusable statements with importing and exporting parameters. And function module can be executed independently and also it can be included in the main program as per the definition says. And all the function modules are stored logically in a function group in SAP system. So what we have understood now is that function module is a subprogram or a part of a main program. So, so you can use function module to call some set of code so that you can execute in the main program. So now I will move to function group. What is function group? As informed earlier, function groups are like a logical container in SAP ABAP system which stores all the function modules. Like uh, if I give you an example, like you can create a function group like HR inside this, uh, inside this group, you can create n number of function modules related to HR. And to create function module, you have to go to AC80 in the SAP then you can create a function module. Now the main part of this video is that how to create function module. So first you need to go to T code AC37. So once you go there, you can get a screen like this. So where you can write the function module name what you want to create. And, and after that you click on create option. And suppose you want to uh, you want to display a written function module which is already written and you want to see it in that case you can similarly can go to this T code and give the function module name and click on display or if you want to do some changing in the function module then click on change and if you want to execute the function module independently then you have to give the function module name and click on the executive button from the from the ABAP toolbar button. So, so now we'll move to the step number two. So in this step, we will show you. Suppose I'm creating a function module like JTest FM, and once you click on create, you'll get a option like this and here you have to choose the function group name as I informed earlier that all the function modules should be stored in a function group so here you have to give the function group name and after that this is the short text of the function module that you have written so after doing this and after clicking on save then you move to the next step that is step number three and here you have to give the import and export parameters and now this is inside the function module and here you have a lot of tabs like attributes import exports changing tables exception and source code here the important part that you need is the import export changing and the source code tabs so in the first tab that you have import here actually you have to give all the objects name or attribute name which you want to pass to this function module suppose here i'm giving an example like matnar and you have to give the type and then you need to give the associated type and so on so here import means actually you are passing this variables to this to this function module and on the other side you have the export once you click 
to the adjacent bar that is export and here you have to give the output fields so it can be a table it can be any field so this export means you are after executing the function module the result of the function module can be saved in this export parameters and now once you do this then we will move to the step number four and here here you have to write the source code and save it so you have the tab here source code and here you can write a code that you want suppose here i'm writing a code like select star from table one into my export my export parameter field or it is a table and where the article is matna so this matna is using here as an input parameter and ex output is my output parameter and now once you save it without an error then we have to go to the next step the next step is how to use it in the main program so this is one of the critical part that once you the, the one part is creating a function module and you can use it independently and now how can you use it in the main program so this is one standard procedure how you can write you have to call the function by writing call function then then you have to write the function module name suppose as an example i have given here this function module name jet last delete test and here you have to give the exporting and importing parameter and here the exporting parameter is matnar you know do not confuse between the earlier slides where in the import parameter i wrote matna and in the export parameter i wrote ex output and in the case of calling function it will be opposite now why it is opposite because you know uh, this data the exporting and importing actually um, this matna equal to 100 and this is actually you are passing to this you are giving input to this function module that's why we're writing export and from the function module we are taking the data and we are putting it into result and this result is another table and where we are exporting importing the data from ex output to result and finally you can print that data of the result so so this is how it works and the function module is just you have to call it like call function and then give the import export parameters and if you have any changing parameters so you can write here so in this way that it is how easy to do it i hope you have understood so thanks for watching uh, this is our facebook page sap learning academy our youtube channel sap learning academy and thanks for watching this video see you next time with more interesting video have a nice day